What is up everyone and welcome back to another reaction on the channel. Another one from Gamescom 2019. So to wrap up the stream that they did earlier tonight, they finally gave us a little bit more information in regards to Death Stranding. Now Death Stranding is coming out a little bit later on this year and so far it is really, really hyped up to be a good game. I, I'm a little bit on the fence about it. I don't know if maybe I just haven't seen enough in regards to like the gameplay aspect of things, but we have two trailers that I'm going to react to in this video. One introducing a character and the other one some gameplay. So let's go ahead and start with the character reveal. Also, don't forget, if you are new to my channel, to hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 300,000. Crazy. All right, let's watch this. It's so weird seeing Norman Reedus in video game form. Was that like a water baby? What was that? That was weird. What the? An invisible baby? baby okay I mean I know I'm supposed to be confused by this game but even though she can't drink it my body keeps making it going through the motions really helps with the soreness though what is she she's my daughter and I'm her mama okay it's okay She's only connected to me, not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. This game is so weird. I don't know if I should be fascinated or creeped out. And why are you wearing handcuffs? Oh wait, was that it? Ah, that was so weird. I need to know more about this game. Like, this game is so beyond weird. Like, as I say, I don't know if I should be like, oh, this is awesome, it's so different. Or if I should be like, this is creepy as, mm. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit strange. Dead man, you there? Little help? Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to his mother's womb. Mother? Located in the capital, not city, I see you. Brain dead, of course. Ah, you mean still mother. Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. To sense what? These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. A 
However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with the steel mother via the chiral network. There. I don't know what's going on! Right now the port is synchronizing with the steel mother in capital Knot city and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress level. That being where it technically belongs, of course. <laughs> Kid looks happy. I'll try it. Just a little out of self advantage. Out of Optimia should the steady is much slower from now on. should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then... You're saying there's no way to keep my baby alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about babies. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Oh my... I don't... I just... I feel so confused. Like, seriously, I just... I feel so confused by everything that <laughs> I see in regards to this game. Like, I genuinely, I'm just like, what? Like, I don't know. <laughs> With that being said, let's go ahead and watch the gameplay side of things. Oh, this is cool. So this is a little bit longer. Game footage, not final. Can you imagine having to walk around though with that big thing on your back? <sighs> this game is going to be absolutely huge, isn't it? Like map wise, there's going to be so much to see. Like if you thought Red Dead Redemption was big, Let's get it moving. I bet this is way worse. What? What? Wait, are we gonna see? <laughs> okay, so it doesn't let us see his PP. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is something I wonder about in so many video games, like when do the characters actually go to the toilet? So I feel like this Over is here. the first game I've ever played that has finally answered that question. Hey. Who is he? Oh. Anyone? Anybody hear me? It's probably a weird thing to say, but there's part of me that hopes this game isn't too big. I tend to find myself when I start a game, if it's got too many side quests and like too much going on, I end up like putting it down for a good length of time. Like, sometimes that's cool, but like, if a game is too in detail for me, then I end up getting like put off by it. I don't know if that's just because I grew up playing very linear games, but that's pretty neat that you can get up like that with your own. Take your ladder back though, you have to get the ladder back. 
Little Kojima there. Of course. How you doing, Sam? So is this like a base? Okay, this is unusual. Look at the little baby, oh man. Cute, I guess. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Good job, man. Good job. Oh. Thank you. Kindly. <laughs> Is that gonna show us what happens if he hurts himself? Oh, the baby's upset. Oh my gosh, you have to like rock the baby to chill it out? This game is so weird! I just, I gotta play this to understand. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot happening in this game that I reckon you could miss as well. It, it looks to me like the map is super, super in-depth. So that's really interesting. Okay, all I got from that was if you fall or get too injured, then you're gonna have to like rock your baby back to normal. And uh, also you're gonna have to pee once in a blue moon as well, which it's such a little thing, but I don't know. I like it because it's realistic, I suppose, in that respect. So what did you guys think of what we've been shown so far with Death Stranding? I wonder if we're gonna get anything more as Gamescom progresses this week. Hopefully we do. This game is coming out a little bit later on this year and while at the moment my expectations are not that high, I'm still looking forward to it because it's going to be one of the first games that Kojima is putting out under his own company since leaving Konami. Mm -hmm. So my expectations are not too high based on what I have seen, but I am excited for the game. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you all in some Naruto later on tonight. Bye guys.